MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Matt, thanks for the invitation today to the official opening of this training centre here, but tell us about Silverson. Uh, Silverson is a family company. Uh, the origins tr uh, can be traced back to the late, 1948, uh, late 1940s uh, when we developed a method of mixing which put a lot more energy into the product and it's called high shear energy and the idea is that it will speed up processing times and also create uh, products such as mayonnaises which would be very difficult to create with uh, traditional uh, mixing methods. And in terms of what you actually do here, do you design, manufacture, assembly, test, everything? Yeah, we, we handle everything on site here. Um, we do all our R&D, uh, all our manufacturing, uh, everything uh, including marketing is handled from here as well. We have a facility in North America which uh, handles that market, but uh, we send equipment over there in kit form. Uh, so still everything is actually manufactured here in the UK. And very impressively is you invest in people. Yes, we do. I mean, we've uh, come to realise over the last sort of decade, really, that um, the skill sets weren't available that we needed in the local area. Um, we've tried various things to try and address that, and uh, the decision was made three or four years ago that we should actually set up our own uh, apprentice training school to give us the skills that we need to grow in the future. I'm going to go and have a look. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Enjoy. I have had the most uh, delightful morning uh, touring uh, the factory. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's been a very great pleasure to be here, a very great honour to be asked to uh, say a few words. Uh, a really uplifting experience to uh, tour the factory. Uh, a great joy to think that uh, these apprentices uh, have been taken on and have, I think, a very bright future here and have been equipped with this very remarkable, uh, dedicated facility and a great opportunity on behalf of everyone here who is a, a guest, I think, to say to Harold and all the team, but with a particular word perhaps, the, the apprentices, many, many congratulations, and may you continue to prosper, because we're all very, very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. Michael, how good a statement is this for British manufacturing, what you've seen today? I think it's an excellent statement, and I must say it's all been a surprise to me. I had no idea that there was precision engineering to be found in Chesham, uh, and indeed a company that has been in existence for a long time, which is a family business, uh, long established, um, and doing really great work. As I've gone around, I've been looking at some of the crates in which the products are being exported. I think 85, 90% of the product is exported, and the destinations from the United States, China, Israel, Saudi Arabia, France, I mean, it simply is the sort of global map. And I mean, over recent years, obviously, the, the current incumbent government has been trying to introduce apprenticeships. This is a good endorsement for that with this training centre. It, it certainly is. I mean, I think the company's intention had been to take on four apprentices this year. It turned out in the end that they took six, uh, and that's up on four that they took last year. What also struck me is that whilst many employers are complaining that they can't get people of the quality they want coming out of the schools and the colleges, the company actually reports that the six that have been taken on this year are very good. They're very, very pleased with them. So I very much hope that they're going to stay the course. Um, talking to one apprentice now, I think he has a very clear impression of what his future is with this company. And are we going to see you on one of the machines today? Uh, well, as you may know from my television programmes, I'm game at giving almost anything a try. I'm not as good as Andrew Neil. 
<laughs> I, um, I, I like doing almost anything except dancing. But uh, now I've, I've been talking to a lot of the people who have been operating the machines, um, very much admiring the skill of their jobs, very pleased to see actually how much investment there has been in new machinery. Uh, and of course, you know, this company depends for its reputation on extraordinarily high quality, great precision, uh, quality assurance at the end. And I've been able to see all those things today. Brilliant. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Michael. I'm sure I will. Thank you. I'm the apprentice trainer and assessor. Um, what I do is I train the lads uh, for the first year. And then once they've done their first year, I look at their assessment pieces. Um, and if, if they're passed, then I can uh, issue their certificates to say that they've, they've gained a level two in MVQ. And this, is, this would have been done before at the college or, or, or training academy, but now being done on site, is that a big advantage to you or to the company now? It's mainly for the company because we can get the lads in when they're fresh from school. We can train them in the, the Silversome way. Um, they, the MVQ being a national qualification, there are certain levels they've got to hit, but we want to take them above that. We want to... We want to train our future engineers in the Silverson way. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the education's a, a big thing when it comes to a qualification on paper. In fact, I've got an NVQ myself, so I've, I've been there. But to, to actually be here in the company, I suppose, gives them a really good feel for how the business works. Yes, yeah, and it, it, it gets them um, starting off at the, the, the grassroots, as it were, or the, uh, at the bottom rung, and that they get to see how the, how the company works. Uh, the products, they get to know more about the products throughout their apprenticeship and hopefully become part of part of the family. I can't stop this interview without asking you about the machines you've got here. We're big into machine tools. You've got the XYZs. Do you like them? Yeah, they're very good machines. Yeah, very robust and uh, very forgiving. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Andy. No problem. I'm inside the CNC centre here now at Silverson Machines and this is where all the manufacturing takes place. Interestingly, 90% of the componentry within uh, their products are actually manufactured here in-house on site. It's all machined out of stainless 316, hence the reason they've opted for machines like we've got behind us here, the Daewoo Pumas and the Mazax. What you can see behind me projected onto the wall is a visual which uh, is controlled by, by uh, Android tablets which are on the machine. And what happens is each of the machines that's in the machine shop is monitored and tracked to make sure they're getting the best out of their production. And it does things to uh, tell you when the machine is running, when uh, the machine is being set and when the machine is stopped. It really enables them to keep a handle on making sure they're the most productive they can be. Certainly evidence behind me here that size isn't an issue at Silver Sun when you're looking or when they're looking to manufacture. That chuck is a 50 inch chuck. This is a hand cooked, huge flatbed lathe. So whether, whether the components required are small, medium or large, they can all be handled here in the machine shop. And if you want to know what the end product is, well, this is a high shear mixer from Silversong. For more videos, products, and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.